Right, I don't know where I'm going with this one. I, I remember being in Karnak in Brittany some years ago, had several holidays there. I'm walking uh, on the edge of the, the huge megalithic site that is very, always world famous. I saw a farmhouse, just a white um, stuccoed house with a small dormer set in, in some meadow with some, some trees. Nothing of any great, uh, well, sort of scene you would pass by. But I've always been challenged. I've done it, I've demonstrated it probably twice or versions of it, and I, I don't see why I should stop now. And uh, do another one, but we'll, we'll try a different sky. A prime piece of Bockingford 140 paper with some burnt sienna. It's a little bit lumpy. And taped it, well, I took taped it to the board to start with. So, as far as I'm aware, that is sealed, waterproof, more or less. And we can paint a bit of a sky. So, I'm going to use a bit of black and a bit of ultramarine to get a nice dark. Sky effect. And I'll put a bit of white in that. And then just a bit, a bit of ordinary. A bit of warm. A bit more blue in in this here. Just a little bit dark with that black. It's a little bit, but not overly so. Alright, we can we can adjust that as that dries. So you whatever you put on, you can change very quickly in, in minutes because it dries so quickly this colour. We'll put a bit of a, 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 um, a light sort of horizon on there. Concentrate the dark in the middle there. Just yellow ochre and white. Okay, so that's a, a that's a start, and we'll put in a bit of uh, well, I, just a little bit of lighter grey sort of sky at the bottom here. I want a low horizon with this. So we're improvising as much as anything here. It's all about affecting. Right, uh, let's put in a put in a, uh, a cottage. Let's uh, see what happens. Right, I'll we'll put it off centre. Something like that. I won't try and be too clever with it, uh, but I want just to get the uh, chimney sort of Ooh, shaky. Okay. More or less what I saw. Because the wall's vertical. Right. 
Okay, now we're going to put in some, make sure your brushes are very clean. Don't leave them unclean because you'll lose them. Uh, I want a very fine brush. I've got this, this one here. I'm going to, I prefer flats, little flats. I, I'll go back to my little flat here. This worn out one that I've had for a long, long time. Okay, so let's put in some nice dark greeny. Remember, there were some pines here, but I'm not going to put them in as pines. I might, I might change my mind. But there's also some distance, so we're going to put a distance in. So I'll put that bluey, blacky colour. Let's look at that over here. Then we go back to our greens. Put a bit of, bit of, uh, put a bit of a lizard in them. In with that, with a plant. down to nothing there. Just un uploaded this morning's effort with a time lapse. I might make that horizon just a little bit lighter. Uh, I can really, I can really state the the size of the building. Right, let's get in some uh, some light greens now. Open there. Very thin. Just, just roughing in. Using any medium. Got some darker greens back in. Just some bushy sort of thistle type Oops. bushes. Just. There's also a wild sort of nothing really. Just a, a field. There were some megaliths, a small megaliths in this field, but I'm not going to put them in. I can't remember the photograph is that I took of it, but I'm imagining it anyway. I'm just working from my, my memory. I'm going to bring that house down a bit. Because it's just a little bit stunted. Now I've got a, oh, a little half inch flat brush. Oops, Ooh. that's not very good, is it? Right, I'll have to clean that. Clean the bristles. 
and a bit of glue, a bit of PVA glue. So that, oh wrong end, okay push the ferrule, push it back into the ferrule, bit of a wet, well we won't use that till that dries now, <coughs> okay, we'll get some light in that field, so uh, with one of my inch brushes, We'll uh, do ochre or even burnt umber with a lot of lot of white in it. Not with too light because it will we'll give the counter change with uh, with the cottage. So we'll just go around that little bit of dark in there. Like there is, we can just bring out. Try to create an overall effect here with warm greens, grey greens. even put some water in but uh, <coughs> I don't want the reflection to be like that so we won't bother but we'll, uh, so let's have some darker greens in here oops It's a little bit mad with the black hair. So we just want to carry that that light through here. Right, while that's sort of drying, I'll go back over the sky. Right, go to that blue-black. stormy sort of sort of sky then I can counter change the light against it let's get a bit down there good for the drama right a bit of white in there now so we've got a bit of, bit of So I don't usually paint a lot of buildings. I, I'm not really that interested in buildings. There are people that can paint it far, paint those sort of things far better than me. I like trees and skies and 
and and light effects on on, on the landscape. Sometimes they come off, sometimes they don't. But uh, it was never my ambition to be a great architect. I like um, dramatic skies and got a little bit of light somewhere. I'm just going to go back over that a little bit. Right, that's looking quite attractive. A bit of red in there. Or a bit of orange. And put a bit of red in a little bit. Right. Why not? Right. Go back onto that landscape now. So a bit of yellow ochre, a bit of white, and let's just just get that reflecting that light on the in there. Detail. Uh, I'm going to have to use that brush, but I think just to put some slates on. Maybe that's just a bit too black in there, so go over it with uh, a bit of a bit, bit of the bluer colour. It's sort of blue black. Okay, back to me. Be very dark greens, cadmium yellow, and black. I don't know what black it is. Just black, black. Okay, I'll put in. Oh, I do love this black. It's a very, very dark green. And I can show a bit of light going between the cottage and those trees on the right.
Alright, let's get a light bluey grey on here now. I've got a mount that go over this, but I think it's much smaller than the... Well, let's have a look, see what it looks like. Make uh, sure my fingers are clean. There we are, it's quite a dramatic little picture. Uh, let's bring the camera around. We've lost a lot of it with the, the actual shape of the frame, but I haven't got anything. Whoops. My obsolete teddy there. Right, well, there we are. The sky, uh, brooding sky over a French farmhouse, farm cottage. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.